interesting presentation, Bill. Um, but from what you guys were talking about, it seemed like Eric and Bill must have at some time spoken about a cost of what we don't want to spend. Um, so that's question number one. Do you have an outside number that you do not want to get to? And then if you don't have that, how are you going to know when to start cutting things and when to select one option and not another option if you don't know how much of a box you want to stay within? Well, I, I was never given any, any uh, outside parameters because I don't think anyone knew exactly what uh, you know, a one-off building like this you know, was going to cost. Um, I think that the, uh, in, when you frame it in terms of uh, what type of a box you want to stay within, again, it, to, to me, it's a matter of what does the district believe that its uh, uh, you know, capabilities are to function What's the minimum? Uh, what are the minimum tools that it needs? And tools, in this sense, being um, the, the the building itself that it needs to to do its job. And I think that's that the, the question I'm asking. Yeah, no, I, uh, exactly. And I think that over the years that I've been involved with this project um, as a as a consultant, um, that was it started and answered even before I came on board. There was a list of of requirements. There was uh, a list of square associated square footages. Um, and, um, and, and that's what went into the original design. And I think during that time we were clear, cause I remember s stating a, a, a number of times that the, that the original, uh, area requests or square footage requests, uh, we actually reduced and we, we pulled this down to what I, you know, was, was told was the, the minimum amount of space. If we get in uh, when we actually get some market values here and, and find out what, what it actually is uh, uh, in terms of the cost. And the board wants to change direction. Um, you know, okay, but what are they going to change direction uh, that's, from? That's so you're fun. talking like there must be a number. There's got to be a number that. As I, expa you're, you're as within, I explained, and, you and can, you're going you, on and on about stuff, but I, I'll, if I don't ask you, I'll ask Eric or anybody on the board, do you have any idea, any number? I'm not trying to, to stop the project or that's fine, go with it. I'm just curious. I mean, I've, we've been working so long, you would think you'd have some kind of an idea of this is what we can afford. And if we get to this point, then we've got to pull out option A, et cetera, et cetera. So you're saying you're just going with a blank piece of paper and whatever bids come in, then we'll figure out what we're going to no. do. Okay, well then, what is the number you're talking about? <laughs> well, what I said no to was no to the fact that we're going with a blank piece of paper. We, we, the project has been talked about and, and uh, you know, okay, reviewed and developed. Okay, but what's that number on the outside end then, if you don't have a blank piece of paper? <laughs> what I was referring to was the description. Uh, John, um, as you may recall, not so long ago, we had to... Um, uh, redo fire uh, fire department kitchen and um, it was our virgin public uh, project um, and uh, at first our budget was forty thousand dollars which okay. uh, to in my opinion was absurdly high given okay. the size of the project um, because um, certainly in my experience as a resident as a as a personal you know, with my personal project, uh, $40,000 is more than enough for a pretty nice kitchen. Um, well, we, we learned very soon that not only is 40,000 uh, not possible, but neither is 60,000. And we ended up spending close to 100,000 on the kitchen uh, project, which was absurdly high and, and, and offensive in my opinion, yet absolutely necessary. And, um, certain members of the public were enraged that uh, we even spend more than a couple of meetings talking about this because it should have been done no matter what cost. Exactly, so, because in all these meetings I've attended, there's never been a, any comment about cost. And that's fine. Right, so, you guys so aren't going to give it to I'm me or anybody what, else. It just seems irresponsible to what go I'm in and not know what your outside end is. You were saying you at least went into that project 
with a cost of 40000 At least you had an idea. That's all yes, I'm asking. That's you have John, an idea. John, we ended up spending more than twice as much, which is absurd. So, yeah. so I, what, I what, do you have, what are you starting with here? That, that's all I'm asking. That, it's a simple question, but I'm getting all these frustrating looks here. So like, that's well, fine. If you don't have it, we'll just wait till it, we'll wait till the bids come in. Works. I think the best, uh, best case scenario is to really listen to an expert who has been through this many times. And he advises us to first get our ducks in a row and know exactly what we need to spec out in order to get an educated bid proposal from the constru construction. Um, okay, well, that's a good answer then. So you're saying we don't have a number. We're just going to base it on what we get from the market. And that's, I believe, what Bill said when he started, you know, quite a bit ago about his presentation. You're going to let the market uh, conditions dictate your budget. That's fine. I think that's what you're saying. Is that correct, Eric? We'll have to wait and see what the bids come in at. Uh, Bill and I won't be the body uh, approving anything. It's up to the board to uh, approve what the bids are. And our goal is to have these, uh, to keep this project moving, to put the bid process out in September and ideally be able to present no later than November. Okay. It always seems like there's a secret. Um, we'll, Will all the bids be available for the public to view if, if we wanted to? Of course. Okay. Well, thank you for the time. Great. Have a good thank evening, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you.